everybody, it's your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. So, as I keep the title down below, I am back again with another LED light strip review but this time is by the brand day better this is a brand that usually a lot of people on tiktok have so of course you no know, i had to copy and let y'all know what it's really like once again y'all this video is not sponsored at all but this is my hard work college coins and i also got this on amazon i don't really have a link to this one specifically because I'm not sure if they like change the link or whatever, but whenever I go to like my Amazon records or like my Amazon orders and I try to click on it, it just doesn't work. But if I could figure out where they're at or find the link for it, I will leave it down below. And I also paid about $20 for this, but I'm not really sure because I got it on an Amazon lightning deal and it was around like $19, $20 that day. To hop into the specs, I do not have the LED light strip to show y'all physically right now because it's literally on my walls <laughs> right now i just changed this one recently from the other one that i showed in the last video to this one but the one that i have is a one strip continuous 32.8 foot long roll and it also has an adhesive on the back so i know they also have another one that is 32.8 feet but it's two rolls and you connect them but this one is like one continuous roll that I have. It's not waterproof, so it doesn't have like that buffered little groove over it at all, but because I use it on my wall, they don't need to be waterproof. And it also comes with a 44 button remote control that looks like this. This is the one you see everybody have. Once you open the box, outside of the LED light strips that are on my wall, like I told y'all, and the adapter, the battery, all that sort of stuff that comes with the remote control. Then you also have your user instructions. This looks like a pretty generic one that they give with every single light strip that they have. So nothing too long, nothing too crazy in it. Then it has the roll that it came on and that's about it. Just the plastic that the remote came in. So some of my pros is the length, the length, the length, like 32, feet continuous it knocked out a good amount of my room and I really like that because compared to the lights that I had before that were 16 feet although I did like the vibe that I had and at the time it did serve the purpose that I had because I wanted it to light up one part of my room once I got that I kind of got into the I got sucked in into the LED light world and I was like yo I really want my whole room to be this way or just to have more lighting more brightness from it so the 32 foot it i like it it's pretty long and because you don't have to connect it with anything there's no gaps there's no nothing in it then another pro of it is that you do have six diy color options so on the remote i'll bring it back up again you can see that there are some buttons here at the bottom and they all say DIY on them. So with these buttons, you can program different colors. There are also arrows that you probably saw above those buttons that you can like click on however many times that you want and you can do different colors that aren't the colors that they already have preset on here. I haven't gotten into that too much to really show y'all or really tell y'all how good or bad it is, but I have seen a lot of people on TikTok talk about it and a lot of videos on TikTok that tell you which ones to press for a certain color, for a certain vibe, for a certain mood. So I feel like that is really cool compared to other LED light strips, especially since this one doesn't come with the app like the one that I had before to help you like pick other colors. One of my other pros is the price of this one. So like I said, I did get this on a deal, so I'm not really sure what the price is. And I probably, the price still wasn't too, too bad. It was only like $8 off of what it normally is. But like I said, for this to be 32 feet long, I got my 16 foot one, I think for $20. And this one I got for $20, but it's 32 feet long. So I basically got double it for the same exact cost. 
So that is a really big thing. But of course, compared to that one, that does have the music mode, which is like a whole different technology, all that sort of stuff. Now onto the cons of the Day Better light strip. One, I would say that it has a big and heavy battery. Now the like the battery isn't heavy, heavy, but I mean in comparison to the light strips that I really like. So basically, if you have like a laptop, not like a Mac, but if you have an HP or like a Dell laptop and you know that brick that your laptop comes with, that's the battery that comes with these lights. Now, why that is a problem for me or for anybody who's putting these on your wall, if you're putting it on your wall and you don't put the battery on the floor and then put your lights all the way up on the wall and then go around, for me, I started the lights all the way on the wall. So. In order to make sure that the battery didn't weigh down on my lights, I had to go out and buy some command strips to attach it to my wall. If I didn't do that, I'm pretty sure that my lights would be falling right now. <laughs> also, I know I probably didn't say this earlier, but the adhesive strip that's on the back, I also can't vouch for that because I haven't used it. If you watched my other video from before, you would know that I am pretty indecisive when it comes to lights and the placement and which ones I do and do not like. So I didn't use the adhesive on the back. I just taped it with like gift wrapping tape. So if I just did that and I had the adapter and the battery, it would just be weighing everything down. So just letting y'all know that you're probably gonna have to also go out and buy some command strips to keep it up. You don't have to because you can just put it on the ground and then string the lights all the way up. But for me, that was a problem that I didn't like. The next con that I had is the colors on the remote do not match what is seen on the light. These colors, they're cute and all on the remote, but these are not the same exact colors that you will see when you change it on the wall. They're still cute colors for sure, but they're not the same exact color in the slightest bit. Like I would be pressing the different, like when I first got it, I would press through all the different colors and I'm like, is it changing? I'm still clicking the same color and I'm like, it's not changing. It did change, it's just not what's on this remote. So just to let y'all know, it's not a big deal to me because I just like the aesthetic of the lights and how it looks. I don't really care for it to be a certain specific color, but if that's a big deal for you, that is something that you might wanna look into getting something that's more accurate. Now, my last con that I had is that these cannot be connected to another strip. So because of how long it is, they just don't come with connectors and they're not the same with their other lengths and their other ones that they have on the market in their brand as well. So just to let y'all know, you cannot connect these. Once you get this 32 foot strip, that's it. You're gonna have to get another strip and either put the adapters next to each other so that so they can all be the same color or just deal with two different colors, but you cannot connect these. So if you want something that connects, this is probably not the brand that you want to go with. You probably want to get a different brand because you can't connect these. And I'm pretty sure if you wanted to connect them, you need like some engineering degree or some something fancy. Even if you did connect them, because I've looked into it, I'm pretty sure both strips wouldn't be the same color or one would end up dying out faster than the other one because of the output of the energy. A whole lot of technical stuff, so I just wouldn't get into it. If you want to connect them, this just isn't the one for you. But overall, like I said, because of the length, I really do like these ones and I have no problem with just taking the remote. If I do plan on buying another set, I have no problem taking the remote and just clicking it on both sides. That's not a big deal for me, but I do have other people that could be a big deal for them depending on what they're using the LED light strips for. But like I said, I really love these. I think I'm gonna be keeping these ones in my room. Not sure yet, but I like the length of it, all that, the price I paid for it was honestly amazing. When I got the notification that they went on sale, I was like, okay, bye, 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 bye. I need it, I need it now because compared to the price it was before, it was, I wasn't buying it before, but when it went on sale, I said, okay, time to buy. <laughs> but that is all that I have for the Day Better LED light strips. If y'all have any more questions, most definitely leave them down below and I'll get back to them if I know how to answer them. And stay tuned, subscribe to the notification bell for more LED light strips because I have some coming in the mail soon. So I'm really excited about that just to try some new ones out. 
And remember to follow me on Instagram at I'm Sincerely Dree so you can stay up to date with more of my content and just see all the behind the scenes, the scoop, all that before it gets posted because of course I post on Instagram more often. And remember that I love you guys so much and my name is Sincerely Dree and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye! Thank you.